and welcome back to the Ms. Artastic podcast. So Earth Day is just around the corner. So in this episode, I'm going to be giving you five Earth Day art lesson ideas and activities for kids in your classroom. Let's get into it. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. All right, so as I said, Earth Day is just around the corner, so I'm going to be giving you, again, five Earth Day art lesson ideas and activities that you can do with your elementary students to engage them in the art making uh, process uh, while also creating awareness around the fragility of our planet and all the life forms that inhabit it. So let's dive into it. Now, if you are watching this on YouTube or you're listening to this on my podcast, on your favorite podcast player, in the description of the video, just below the video, hit the description there, or in the podcast show notes, or sorry, in the podcast description, you can click the blog post show notes for this. And in the blog post show notes, you're going to be able to find all the clickable links for things such as images, that go with this blog post. Um, You can also watch the vlog there, or you can also watch, um, sorry, you can also download some of the Ms. Artastic art resources there. They are listed, you can check them out. Um, And I have a ton in the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. If you go to teacherspayteachers.com, make sure you search Ms. Artastic and there I will be. And if you look on the left side of the page, There'll be a categories section and you can click Earth Day and all my Earth Day art lessons and resources will be there nice and easy for you to find. All right, so we're going to dive in on, again, five art ideas for Earth Day that you can do with this with your classroom for this upcoming Earth Day. So the first one is to, and now this is a little bit different, but it's to explore microorganisms and create artwork, artworks around that theme. So the theme is artwork, sorry, the theme is um, microorganisms, sorry, I'm just typing in my, I put art, but I wanted to say artworks. Um, But um, anyways, it's a bit of a different theme, you're exploring microorganisms, and I think it's a really interesting kind of topic, and just something that's a little bit more unusual or unexpected, A, for our class, Um, you would be more likely to find this in a science classroom, but we're taking a little bit of a different spin on it, right? We're observing it, we're creating it, and we're also adding our own artist flavor to it. So I think this would be something that would be interesting to either do with a buddy, um, in a group, or as a class, and first research with your buddy as an individual or as a class, um, microorganisms that live amongst our planet. So like what lives in the pond, in the ocean, on the beach, what's in the soil, a puddle even. And then after you found some information or after the students find some information or you in general, if you're doing it with your class all together, and then once you find some information on microorganisms and get some favorites, find some microscopic imagery of the micro critters that you favorited. Next, have the students create artworks inspired by these microorganisms. Of course, you can create all kinds of artworks from watercolor paintings, sorry, watercolor portraits or paintings, I guess, to computer graphics or digital art with a tablet, oil pastel, resist painting art, all of the above, right? So you can come up with an idea or use this as an opportunity for choice-based art where students create a design in their sketchbook, then conference with you before they create the final piece. So you will discuss um, design, mediums, you'll look at their sketch um, as well, um, So and prompt them like, what mediums are you gonna use? Um, or do you intend on using? And how are they gonna be used? All those kinds of things. Ask them about the meaning of their artwork or message that they're trying to convey to their audience. How is it going to be displayed? Um, all that jazz. So, um, yeah, finally to extend their learning on this, um, students can write a small biography 
for the organism. So they're going to create a little biography or a little um, like an artist statement describing really the organism, right? Um, that they found the microorganism and explain some of their research and thoughts that went into the artwork. Um, and that way they're going to show what they learned. So not only is it going to explain if it's an artist statement, it can talk about like their own thoughts and thinking and artist process, but also it's also going to be an, an opportunity for them to show what they know and explain their research to back it up as well. So that way they can also be te teaching um, their community, right? So you're kind of asking them or prompting them to say, well, now we're going to take our knowledge and we're going to now teach the wider community, our wider, wider school community. You can even take your artworks and the biographies and even teach your little buddy classroom. If you guys do buddies, you can always take your artworks and the biography. They can show um, their little buddy and talk to them about it. Or they can do like a whole display. Um, you guys can make a YouTube video to teach out to the greater community. And it could be played in homerooms or cl general classrooms, whatever. So that's just another way to just extend it. And then by teaching others, they are retaining that information a little bit more. So I think it's a really great way to, this idea is a really fabulous approach for doing interdisciplinary learning, combining both science and art into your classroom. Okay, so the next idea is endangered species artworks. I love to research and learn about this. So have the um, students research and learn about or you could do it as a class as well, depending on the age or time you have. Um, research about endangered species and then create artworks of an endangered species. So for younger students, research one animal together and then learn about it as a class. You can then create an artwork together of that animal to bring awareness to it, not only inside your classroom, but to make a display and share it out to the school community, okay? So again, it's that whole researching, learning process, then creating, and then extending our learning and retain that information by sharing out, right? We're teaching others, and by teaching others, we are um, learning, and, uh, learning and retaining that information in a much deeper way, okay? So, for older students, take it to the next level and have them research an animal on the endangered species list. So have them actually go to um, the World, Life, World Wildlife Foundation. I have a link to that in my blog post show notes or you can just Google it. Um, and then have them design an artwork around an animal that they really want to bring awareness to um, with an art medium of your choosing. Or if you want to add more student choice into this, you can allow for their choosing. So for self-directed works, always include student sketching, then one-to-one -one conferencing prior to the student embarking on their journey. That's when you're going to see their sketchbook. You're going to again ask them questions about it, what mediums they're going to use. Maybe they want to think about bringing in recycled mediums into this, whatever. There's a few ideas um, for portrait at, um, artworks for endangered species that you can find on my Teachers Pay Teacher store. Ms. Artastic, again, click that Earth Day category on the left side of the store. Or if you want, there's a couple examples of them in the blog post show notes. All right, so next idea is to go on a nature walk and do some observational drawings. So with this activity, you're going to have your students grab something to draw on and something to draw with. That's my favorite phrase. Grab something to draw on and something to draw with and then head outdoors and go on a nature walk nature walk around the school or in the community. So with this, have students walk in silence and be observers using all their senses to notice nature. So what do they hear? What do they see? Smell, taste, touch, all of those. And then after a while, you can find a place to stop and have them sketch one thing they see. Next, continue walking. And after another five minutes, again, stop and draw, this time prompting them to focus on creating a range of values. That way you're also tying in the element of our value into that. So a range of values in their sketch. Um, finally, uh, continue and then after a few minutes, Stop, and for the third drawing, have them sketch 
one final thing that they see, but this time focus on recreating the texture using line and value. So now we're switching it to a different element of art. We're bringing in texture, but of course texture needs value and line to really bring it to life, right? We can, it's hard to create texture without line, whether it's implied or direct and um, value. Value helps create that, ten that texture, right? That sense of depth in the artwork. All right. Next is to create an Our Planet artwork. So another idea would to be create artworks of Earth itself. You could even use recycled me materials or mediums for this one or create portraits of our planet to bring awareness that we share this giant ball together. And flying elsewhere really isn't an option and really shouldn't be because this place, my friend, is pretty magical. I mean, why? I don't know. I'm not really interested in going to a a dusty planet or I'm taking 10 years or whatever to get there <laughs> and then never returning. It's just too beautiful here. There's things like rain, sun, trees, grass, things that grow, animals. It's pretty nice here. Anyway, moving on. So if you are looking for some brand new Earth Day inspiration, I have two new art projects on my Teachers Pay Teachers Drum is Artastic that I created for 2022. Um, one is a cute little Earth planet, super kawaii vibes. Uh, kids will love it felt markers, some watercolor paints, or temper pancakes. You can grab that in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. The other one is for older students, so like upper elementary, middle school, high school, and it is an Earth Day art lesson where there's a hand holding the planet. So cool, very graphic style. You could do the art mediums suggested in the video. They are both video art tutorials that you can play in your classroom um, if you want to have me teach it or you can use the videos to learn it yourself and then teach your students or do a bit of both. So that way it's like having a second set of hands. Um, and then you can pause and me anytime you want, hit play, all that kind of thing. Um, these are also available in my membership in the Art Curriculum, Artastic Collective. So if you are an art teacher and you're a member of the Artastic Collective membership, you can find all your Earth Day art lessons inside the membership under Holidays and Seasonal in the Earth Day section. It'll be there waiting for you. Definitely, definitely something to look at. So if you're not a member of the Artastic Collective, it opens every August and every January. So make sure you head on over to artasticcollective.com and get on the wait list. Oh yeah, because it is the most essential, fabulous art curriculum for our educators. All right. Last idea is to do some Earth Day directed draws and finish the pictures. So finally, if you want a quick and easy um, art lesson activity that you can do, uh, you can always do some Earth Day themed directed drawings or finish the picture drawing activities. And you can find both of these packages ready to go in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or simply by going to my blog post show notes and clicking the images at the bottom of the post. They are there ready for you. Um, again, you can find them in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, by clicking the Earth Day or searching Earth Day in the store. Just clicking that Earth Day category and then they'll be, I think, are on page two at this point um, in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. But again, if you are watching me right now on YouTube, just go into the YouTube description for this video and then click that first link, which is a blog post show notes. Scroll down to the blog post, scroll down. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the blog while you're there. And then there you'll find the 10 directed drawings for Earth Day and my finish the picture package. All custom graphics, all drawn by me. Um, I create my <laughs> everything. I draw it all. I'm an artist. <laughs> also, um, you can totally, if you're listening to this right now on the your favorite podcast player, the link to my blog post show notes will be in the podcast description. Well, my lovely friend, that is it for this episode. Enjoy Earth Day. Love this planet. Get outside. Honestly, just take some time for your own self. Sit outside with a sketchbook, maybe some watercolor paints, do some plain air paint, paint but plain air painting outdoors or sketching. Just live in the moment. Just nothing, nothing else going on. Just simply sit there and absorb nature. Um, take 10 minutes out of your day to do this and draw. And honestly, it's a great way, first of all, to appreciate the world. And second of all, just slow down. I have to remind myself all the time to just slow down and take it easy. Just for a moment until I remember I have a hundred things to do on the to-do list. Anyways, 
This is Kathleen McGivern signing out. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing out.